So I've had a few people ask about lights and the programming in the app, and I wanted to go over that. So first off, we're going to start with the curtain lights. Now, obviously you will need to have installed the Govi app, and you will need to have added all of your devices. Uh, Govi has a pretty good system in place to show you how to do all that with their instructions as well as uh, plenty of other videos, so I'm not going to cover that in detail here. Uh, but as you can see, I do have my lights added. I have several curtain lights as well as a string light and the permanent outdoor lights. Um, so first off, so as you can see here, this is going to be your basic setup. Uh, you're going to have three separate curtain lights that will kind of do their own thing. Now you can sync them all to do the same thing at the same time. But if you want to do what I did on mine uh, and have all of the curtains as one, what you're gonna need to do is open up any one of your curtain lights. And uh, in my case, I do have three. Uh, the next thing is this gear icon in the top corner. You're gonna go ahead and click on that and you're gonna look for what is called device splicing. And you're gonna hit that. Now this allows you to add all of your curtains onto one. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the plus icon, uh, symbol next to my devices to add section at the bottom there. And you see it, it pushes them up at the top. Now, you're going to notice the color differentiation here. And this is how it's going to know which curtain is in which place. So the blue curtain, I'm going to move this over to that side like it is on the house. Uh, the red is in the middle and the green is on the side. Now that's going to let the Govi app know which curtain is in which place. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna hit this OK button in the top corner and confirm we are splicing. That means we're taking control of the entire curtain uh, together. So now you see everything is red um, and we can go ahead and hit back. Now when we hit back, uh, as you can see now, it shows one solid curtain, the full length of our lights. And uh, these are 60 LEDs, so it's 20 LEDs uh, crossed and 26 LEDs down per curtain. So we have three curtains for a total of 60 across and 26 down. Um, and uh, I do believe you can go up to five curtains synced on this. Uh, I thought I read somewhere. So, you know, a little bit of options and what you can do with that. Now, uh, the Govi app itself, you do have, you know, your music mode, uh, your color mode, if you want to go with the solid color. I would say on the curtains, you know, most cases people are going to want to do scenes. Um, and Govi has quite a few scenes in here. Now, you know, you got your festival, uh, natural, life, animals, uh, night scene, funny. And, and syncing these curtains together does open up some modes that are not available as a single curtain. Um, so, you know, we'll switch over to the Santa Claus here. Uh, and as you see, it takes a couple seconds to load up. There it is. It, it loads up all three curtains. Um, and, you know, same thing with the Merry Christmas, Happy Birthday. Uh, things like that and th those are pretty cool modes that you can do um, now if you want to go a little bit further with it uh, which I have been playing with and I, I think that seems to be the thing that a lot of people are really curious on and that's going to be in the DIY section here uh, so I'm going to open up DIY and uh, as you can see I've got quite a few that I've actually loaded up myself but you know there are a few different options you can go in here um, so I'm going to show you probably the easiest one right out of the box a really easy thing you can do here let's go back to this main screen here uh, you're going to see the world icon down at the bottom of the screen you hit on that and it's going to take you to kind of like an online thing uh, and as you can see your DIY videos here shared content uh, now you're going to want to make sure your curtain is selected up at the top here because you got your permanent outdoor lights and that's going to change uh, what options pop up down here as you can see some of that changed around uh, but if you want to see that diy make sure you do have the smart curtain selected and then scroll down and you're going to see the diy videos uh, and you can hit more now this is where you can see user contributed uh lights um now uh you know there's a case right there i actually did the the dancing santa uh, with the candy canes, uh, which is the one that I designed, I actually uploaded. So there's that one, but you can see them also. This is by uh, the most recent. You can also change it to the most downloaded, you know, the ones that people want. And uh, most of the time, people will have a video uploaded. Uh, you can check out to see uh, what kind of show, how the show mode looks itself before you download it. And, uh, 
you know, you check it out. Um, they are pretty simple to download, so uh, it doesn't take much time or much space at all. Um, so that gives you an idea. Now, let's say you find one that you like. You, know, you can hit apply. And we'll hit apply on the Grinch here, and that will actually show up on the wall, and we can check it out. Okay, we like that. Then we can go ahead and hit that save button. Uh, I've already actually saved the Grinch one. I kind of like that myself. But I uh, like the all aboard the train, the Christmas train here. I can hit save on that one. Now that one is actually saved to my... Uh, to my phone so I can select it and play it on the wall as well. And same thing there if I just wanted to check it out and see how it looks in person I can always just hit apply and there it is shows up right on the wall. So it's a great way to go in there and see some user created content as well as you can create your own content which I'll show you here in just a second um, and submit it for other people to be able to use, which is, is kind of a cool thing. We're gonna go ahead and go back here and we're gonna go back to this uh, device screen here on the home page. Um, now you do need to keep in mind which panel is the one that you, you use to splice all the panels together because that is the one that you're gonna need for editing. So as you can see this little, uh, the Bluetooth symbol and the little uh, light bulb icon thing, that's the one that I'm looking for. So in my case, it's called the Smart Curtain Lights and panel two and three are my added lights. So if I click on two or three, they will not open right. It'll say, um, actually I can show you that here. It basically going to try to open up and then it's gonna like bomb out and it's basically gonna say, it's been splicing state, what do you wanna do? You can jump to target page and that will get you there as well. So either you click on the, the original uh, master curtain light or you can click on the any of the lights and it will give you the option to jump over. So uh, we are back into the spliced curtain. Um, and uh, we go down here to the DIY tab. Now, uh, initially nothing will show up in the DIY tab and that is because the ones that you have saved, you do have to add to that. And that can be done with this little pencil icon in the corner here of the DIY section. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Um, now in here, this will be all of the ones that you've downloaded will be in here. Um, now you can move them to the main screen just by hitting shortcut management. Um, and then, you know, as you can see, I have check boxes next to the ones that I have on that screen. And then I uh, do not have check boxes next to the ones that are not. So if you want to add a few to that main screen, that's how you would go about doing that. So let's say you want to create your own. Uh, you want to create your own show mode. So um, I actually already created this one, but we'll go ahead and do it again. Uh, I went on a computer um, and in my case, I have Photoshop. Uh, that's That's kind of like my... Uh, app of choice for photos and what I did was I created a new project in Photoshop with a 60 by 26 pixel grid and the reason I went with such a low resolution grid is because that allowed me to take control of each individual LED to create the best looking image that I could. Um, now you can obviously do this with a larger uh, aspect ratio. I think it's somewhere around 16 by nine. So you could do like a 1920 by 1080 and that'll get you pretty close. Um, but uh, in my case, I did find that the 60 by uh, 26 uh, worked quite well for me to just get it all dialed in. We're in the DIY mode here. Uh, as you can see, the effect is finger sketch. And basically what that means is I can go ahead and hit this uh, down in the canvas section. I can hit the pin and that will allow me to create a canvas of sorts. And so you can go in here. Um, if you hit this little, uh, the little four corner icon there, it'll actually open up where you can finger paint or if you have a stylus on like a galaxy or something like that you could just individually pick each box and set colors uh, and you do have you know your different color options there you have your pin um, you can use this one here where it will symmetrically you know anything you put on one side will show up on the other you know make it a little bit easier uh, eraser um, you know different modes like that so it's kind of like a little finger paint job that's not too bad you know if you want to play a little bit if you're somewhat artistic uh, you could do some pretty cool stuff. Um, beyond that, you also have the option for text. Uh, so you can go in here, you just hit text and you can actually make it say words on the screen. Uh, you choose your text color, uh, uppercase or lowercase there, uh, and then text field position. Do you want it top, middle or bottom of the screen? Uh, and then down at the bottom here, you do have the speed and that is the speed at which it will scroll across the screen. Um, as well as layers, you can layer 
uh, this to be multiple layers that you create and you put over top of each other and you can get pretty creative with that. Now I didn't, uh, I didn't go into too much on that because I, I think for me, the mode that I found to be the most uh, fun to play with was actually if you change display method here. Um, so if you go to the uh, carousel, and this is available in both overlap and carousel, but I like the animations. And you're not going to really get the animations other than like in the case of this train, this is a basic image and they have it scrolling. Um, so, you know, if you wanted to do something like that, you could, but I kind of like the solid animations more than the scrolling. So um, I'm going to go to carousel. Um, and the way that carousel works is I can go in here and I have multiple patterns. So I can go under carousel and I can actually click on this picture icon here at the top of the painting screen here. And that'll open up an option for me to go into my photo album and choose some photos here. Um, so these are the three that I actually created on the PC. So I'm gonna go ahead and load in my first one here. Um, now I can resize this if I need to. Uh, or move it around the screen a little bit. It is a little bit clunky and that's why like your best bet is to kind of Create these panels on a PC or using a phone and I'll show you a phone here shortly that uh, a Phone app that actually works pretty well for this uh, but Undoubtedly a PC is your best option if you do want to go that route, but um, so I can take this and I'll hit the check mark there um, now, if I hit apply, this will put it onto the screen and I can get a preview of that. Um, now, one thing you're going to want to consider here, the canvas color, as you can see, it's kind of like got a white background to it. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Just the line through uh, deletes that background. I hit apply again, and that will give me the, the LEDs off for the background. So I just get the go V. Now, as you can see, it's flashing on and off. Now, I want it to stay on. So I'm going to turn the speed down all the way hit apply and as you can say uh, see there it just stays on solid uh, and then you got layer display time and so for my case I'm gonna do multiple layers here so what I want to do is I want to turn this speed transition time down I'm gonna turn it down to 0.2 seconds but you can play with this um, see what works best for whatever design that you've created uh, but I'm gonna do that now uh, the way that I did this, I made three photos and I made small changes between the three. So um, I have that first one there. It is, uh, we'll apply it here. So now I got that 0.2 seconds uh, and I'm going to add another pattern. And so for this pattern, I go ahead and do the same thing. I'm just going to load up these other two images the exact same way. And just like that, uh, the the garage door you know flickers a little bit while it's loading everything up, getting it right. But now, as you can see, I have the effectively created image that I wanted to do. And uh, you know this this one's not extremely complicated. I basically just took the GoV logo, cleaned it up a little bit under the pixelation to try and get it uh, um, you know pretty legible at this format. And then I added a dancing border around the outside uh, to kind of like rotate there. Um, uh, and, you know, it's just kind of like a basic outline design here. Um, really more for demonstration purposes than anything. Make sure you hit apply every time that you do a change on that patterns. Uh, and that'll get you there. Now, one thing to consider on this, there is a limit in the memory of the amount of pixels that you can add to a, a effect. Uh, so like in this case, if I were to add another edit pattern, it might be okay. But if I start adding two, three, four more, it'll actually pop up an error and say you have too many uh, within that. And I'll show you that here. So in this case, you know, I added one that was a little bit more um, to it. And it says, fail to apply, please sketch less areas or select less colors. Uh, and the reason being is that there is a memory limit in the amount that you can put for each mode. Now, obviously you can do multiple modes. Uh, that will not be a problem, but for the actual modes, I do believe that the memory stored within the controllers is the limit here. So uh, you definitely gonna wanna keep that in mind when you're designing, uh, don't go extreme and uh, you will not be able to do a ton 
of layers if they are busy layers. So definitely keep that in mind. Um, we're gonna go ahead and hit the back button. Now this is where we will be able to scroll back up to the top, give ourselves a name. We'll call this the Govi effect. We'll hit confirm. We can add a icon if you want. That can be pretty much any image that you want. So we'll just do the Govi logo there, make it really easy. Uh, it's gonna let us adjust it there if we need to. That looks pretty good. Load it up right like that and hit apply again. And then hit save. So now we have saved that mode. This is actually the screen that you'll use if you wanna share this with others. So in my case, I'm gonna go ahead and share it. Let's share it. Um, we are going to call it Govi Effects Show. And we'll go ahead and upload a video here. So I'm gonna take a quick video of it so people can see it. Uh, so record a video, granted access. And just like that, we recorded a little short preview so people get an idea of what it actually is. Uh, you can also select a cover if you want. I'm not gonna worry about that on this one. Uh, we'll go ahead and post. So now that has been shared. That means anybody can download that one put it on their own curtain lights and uh, enjoy our work. Now, one thing that I, at least I cannot figure it out, I, I kind of feel like it should do it, but it doesn't seem like it does, uh, is to kind of cue these up to rotate. Uh, and it could be, once again, that limit to the memory uh, that is the issue. Like you get autoplay here, you can hit go create and you can add uh, your effects and you can choose your DIY and you can say, okay, I want this one and I want this one and I want this one. And then you can set each one. How long do you want between before it rotates to the next mode? Um, so theoretically this should work. Now I cannot get it to work and I do not know if a software update will fix it, but you know, I go up here, I push the okay button. Theoretically, it should rotate between these. We'll call it uh, show modes, why not? All right, and then we do that. And then you can also set your, uh, do you want it to go on repeat and play at random? Do you want it to play at random and then turn off when it's finished? Do you want it to pause? Um, I'm gonna do sequential and repeat. Um, so that way it plays in a row. Uh, but once again, for whatever reason, this does not seem to work when I hit okay. So. I'm gonna hit okay and it says something about submitted successfully, but yeah, it doesn't do anything. So I don't, I don't know on that. Maybe there's an update coming for that, but um, that is a feature that I believe should work, but for some reason it does not. So um, that gives you an idea on the curtain lights, uh, at least from what I have found. And I feel like I still probably don't fully know every aspect of this app. There's quite a bit in here. There's quite a bit of control. Uh, I have not messed nearly enough with the DIY section and the the layers and how that will work and function and things like that. And, you know, by all means, hopefully this makes it a little bit easier to understand and then you guys can play a little bit more and, uh, you know, find other little areas within the app that I still haven't figured out myself. Let's go in here and I'm gonna show you, just kind of give you an idea what it would look like if you did load up a photo that you took with your phone, let's say. So, um, all right, here's something I downloaded a while ago, uh, a power supply for a computer. All right, we'll just load that up. Just super, something super basic that I got, but we're gonna give you an idea of just how bad this will look on an actual uh, screen. So, you know, this is part of picking the photos that you use and editing things uh, is gonna play a role because this is a very low definition screen, uh, but we'll hit apply. And as you can see, it loads it up. Uh, I'll go ahead and get rid of that background and that'll help a little bit, but it's not going to help much. Um, so there you go. That's kind of the definition that you can expect. Uh, and then once again, the speed is why that is flicking on and off. If you take a photo of your family, you want to put it up, not going to look great. So you're going to want to keep that in mind when you're looking for photos and you're looking at different things and trying to figure out uh, what kind of photos that you want to run on your screen. So by and large, clip art seems to be the way to go. And I will say once again, you're going to want to probably use some kind of a third party app 
to create these panels one by one. It's just, it works a little better than the GoV app if you're trying to use multiple clip arts and arrange them on the screen in different ways. As you see one of the downsides to this one is the candy canes themselves. Uh, and I'll probably go back and fix that because they do kind of change size. And that was uh, trying to use my phone to create that one versus using a computer. So one of my favorite apps to use in general is Photo Room. Um, now this is a paid app and I'm sure there are some free options out there that you can use instead, but this one just has a ton of features and works very well. Um, so uh, in this case, what I would do is I would create a custom dimension. Uh, so I'm gonna go down here from scratch. And in the case of this app, it is limited to a minimum of 500 pixels. Um, so I'm just going to create a 1920 by 1080 because that's pretty darn close to the aspect ratio of what we have on our screen. So in here now you have your basic outline. Um, now you're going to want to remove that background. So I just click on that white screen there, hit change background, and we're going to erase that background. So now that gives us a, a clean slate to add whatever we want to hit that done. And now you can go in here and insert layers. Uh, so I can go in to my gallery and any photos that I might have downloaded, you can go to uh, Google uh, images or something like that. And you can search for different things that you want. And that's where I found a lot of the stuff that I have here. Um, I downloaded some different minions things, uh, Merry Christmas, uh, Christmas tree, uh, things like that. And what you can do is you can go ahead and load up something that you have found online. And I'll just take this Christmas tree. Now it will automatically remove that background so that I can then take this, move it around the screen anywhere that I want. Now let's say I wanna have two Christmas trees. So I can hit that, I hit duplicate, I can move another one over here. Maybe I want a mirrored. Uh, so I can actually go in here, scroll down, transform it, flip it, and now I have two mirrored trees. Okay, so that could be a layer. And I can create multiple layers and I just basically hit export and that can save to my gallery as a file. And I can create those different, those multiple screens doing that way. So then I can load those up into the app. So that is one way that you can do it on your phone with a app that is kind of all in one, does everything you need it to do. Plus it has that uh, just a really good background removal tool. So now let's move over to the permanent outdoor lights. Um, now I have since the last video, I did actually add some uh, string lights as well around the windows and the doors. Um, just really kind of liking the GoV stuff, playing with it a little bit more, trying some different stuff. Um, so far, I'm pretty happy with most of their, their LEDs. They seem to be pretty quality kits, but uh, we'll go ahead and do the permanent outdoor lights now. There are quite a few different modes for this one as well. Uh, now, you can't sync them. There's nothing... There's nothing in here about syncing them. Uh, you do have your segments, so you're gonna wanna make sure, and that's in the instructions, how many segments. When you're setting it up, it'll actually ask you uh, how many segments that you have, you know, all that stuff. Firmware updates, all that, but there is no way to actually like sync multiple uh, light segments or anything like that. So you do have the AI lighting effects, which is, it seems kind of cool on the front. You know, you can basically talk to this bot, tell it what you want it to create, and theoretically it will create what you want. I found it to be a little uh, clunky. It doesn't seem to interpret what I want. Maybe I'm not explaining it well enough, but uh, in any case, I was not extremely happy with that. So I, I'm not using it. Uh, image effect, I really couldn't even figure out what the heck this is supposed to do. You should upload an image and I think it's supposed to copy the image. It seems a little gimmicky. I'm not quite sure I get that one. Uh, but then you have the basic modes down here. Now these work pretty well. You get a music mode. The color mode if you want to go with any solid colors and you can make it fade between them but uh the scene mode seems to be where i think most of the good stuff is and you go into like festival you go to sled that looks pretty cool um, but let's say you want to do something a little bit more unique uh, that's we can go into the diy here again and for diy um i did create to myself uh the christmas and rainbow one um, now this is where you're going to do, you know, you want to have uh, two, three, four, five colors, whatever, however many you want to go. 
Uh, it's gonna be the same thing. You hit the little pin, you come up to here, you hit the plus sign, we're gonna create a new mode. Uh, and that's where we can scroll down here and you have different options. You know, you can choose fade, jumping, twinkle, marquee, chasing, rainbow, spin, combo, finger sketch, um, quite a few different options. Uh, the fade is a pretty good one. Rainbow is also a pretty good one. Um, but you know, obviously it's whatever your goals are, what you're trying to do here, uh, you get your speed, uh, and you know you can just kind of play in here and a big thing is going to be so you got your add colors down here smart color picking so you have a a basic color scheme that you want to create a mode for uh, so you know in my case i think red green and white very christmasy colors so i'm going to go with those three and hit apply and now it will do those three now as you can see it's just kind of like fading between um, so I'm going to change that to rainbow where it will actually move a little bit. And as you can see, it is moving across the screen. I can speed that up, hit apply again. And you're going to have to hit apply every time you make a little bit of a change just to, you know, look at how it looks on your house and see if you, if that's the, the scheme that you're going for. chasing you got groupings a little bit closer together so this is where you can really just play a lot and see you know really a lot of dialing in that you can do to try to get pretty much whatever you want it to do uh, you can make it do that so um, you know there you go so I've created a a red green and white mode where it's uh, rotating between. I've adjusted my speed to a, you know, acceptable level. Uh, you know, that obviously depends on your setup and what you're trying to go for. Uh, and then the same thing here on the top, you have your DIY name. You have an icon that you can set, you do not have to. And then you can hit apply and save. And then you have that share option as well, where you can save it, uh, you can actually share it with the community online and other people can download your modes and use them there you go that gives you an idea of uh, the app and the way that it works at least what i have found so far and once again i am not an expert on this i'm overall very happy with it they have designed it pretty well there's definitely room for improvements but that's with anything uh, i think in general i think this is probably a pretty good app overall I, I've, I've messed with a lot of addressable controllers uh, in the past few years with different things that I have done and this one is pretty well polished for what it is it is a house lighting app and they have quite a few features that work very well for that purpose um, now once again the curtain lights uh, I think you will get best results if that is on a computer and you're just kind of like pixel by pixel choosing what color to create the image. Uh, you're going to get the best results that way. So if you got the copy of Photoshop like me or something else that you can use uh, and you create a little file, once again, that is a 60 pixel wide by 26 tall uh, pattern, you will be able to create some pretty good uh, modes and you can load them up. And I, I would try to keep them to about three pictures for each effect. Now, if they get really busy, even three will be too much. So just keep that in mind. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video uh, and this kind of content, make sure you subscribe uh, to the channel because we, we do a lot of stuff like this uh, throughout the house on cars a lot. Um, and I am trying to branch out even more. You can see things like our PC build. Uh, we did some wall paneling. I am planning on doing some uh, RGB lighting in the ceiling in my shop here very soon. So some, some fun stuff coming up. Uh, so if you're not subscribed yet, if this stuff is uh, the kind of things that interest you, it's definitely worth checking out. But I do appreciate it, and you guys have a good one.